GarageBand for iOS's autoplay feature is a great way to get to grips with the touch instruments that the app offers, despite being a little limited for more advanced users. Having said that, you might be surprised to discover that it actually has a bit more depth than you might think. Quick refresher first then, to access a touch instrument's autoplay feature, obviously select it from the instrument menu, then select chords from the notes slash chords toggle. You'll see an autoplay dial appear, you can then select a pattern, then tap on the chord you want to play. The pattern will set off and you can tap on other chords to have the melody change seamlessly. But that's not all, you can actually access multiple different autoplay patterns from each of the four autoplay settings. So in this particular touch instrument, I'm in chords mode and I have selected from one of the four available autoplay sequences. If I tap this chord strip with my finger, you'll hear the sequence play back. If I then tap on the same chord strip with two fingers, you'll hear that the autoplay pattern changes a little. What's more, if I then tap on the same chord strip with three fingers, the autoplay pattern changes again. What this means is that there are three variations available in each of an instrument's four autoplay patterns, depending on whether you activate a chord strip with one, two or three fingers. And this is true for every single touch instrument and touch instrument type available in GarageBand for iOS. So you can create a bit more variation by triggering autoplay with a different number of fingers, but you're also not limited to the available touch instrument sounds that you can select from the instrument menu. Provided you start off in the piano touch instrument, you can swap out the piano for any other keyboard or synth sound in GarageBand's sound library, including sounds from any sound or producer packs you might have downloaded. There's definitely a bit more to GarageBand's autoplay feature than first it meets the eye. Let me know if you use or if you plan to use this feature in your projects down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you'd rather take a more hands-on approach when it comes to creating music in GarageBand, watch this next.